What's going on everybody? This is Professor Crypto, but now it's been about one week since I made my last video and wow, has a lot happened. So we're gonna go over the crypto markets in general. I'm gonna give an update as to my $100 portfolio challenge. You think I'm up, down, uh, we'll find out. And I'm also going to discuss a lot of different projects that caught my attention. So before we get started, I gotta let you know, hey, everything in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. And please, please, please always do your own research. So with that being said, let's get started. Bitcoin, whoa. So over the weekend, it appears as if there was that weekend dump. For whatever reason, maybe some narratives, not sure, weekend dump. Uh, however, just while I'm making this video right now, time of recording, uh, it seems like Bitcoin was holding right here at 38K and bumped above this yellow trend line. So I kind of like that. I I could definitely foresee on Monday there being a nice bump. But again, not financial advice. Uh, but when Bitcoin goes up a little bit, everything else tends to go up by a lot. So that's something else I'm going to be keeping in mind. So let's get to the real cool part. Let's talk about my portfolio challenge, the $100 one. In case you don't know, put $100 into a DeFi portfolio and $100 into a DGEN portfolio. Now, in case you don't know, DGEN means ultra, ultra risky. And my goal is to get to $1,000. So we can take a look at DeBank. You can follow along with me here. Uh, I'll leave links in the description. So if you are like, oh, what's the professor doing? Uh, so you can, again, just watch, don't follow, don't do anything that I'm doing just for entertainment purposes only, okay? So right here, this is my DGEN wallet. Now, uh, sometimes I did notice that this thing would literally drop down to $3. And I think it's because the bank doesn't necessarily assign value or doesn't think certain projects you know, document to reflect it correctly. So from an outsider's perspective, it could be like, oh, well, professor got rugs or, you know, maybe he just withdrew the funds. No, no, he did not. Because you can take a look at the history and you can see it all right here. So as of right now, I'm in USDC, $373. Okay, not bad, not bad. And I got out because I saw this tank Bitcoin tank. But now that this is coming back up, I'm like, well, could be game on. So maybe I will put this funds right now on, you know, while I'm recording, we'll find out maybe towards the end, because I got a lot to talk about. But yeah, what did I do in this history tab? So I actually spent a lot of time in what was known as a tomb for called based finance. I like the rates. I like the chart. Even when Bitcoin was tanking, man, this thing was doing well. I went into something called Beluga Finance to help me do the auto compounding because that was the only one that I knew about that actually supported base finance. I thought, okay, maybe the race would be better played around. Uh, and that's why it wasn't actually being reflected here in the price because when I put in Beluga, it didn't show up. But eventually I saw based tanked in price a little bit, probably along with the Bitcoin price. I said, I'm, I'm out. I just got to take a little breath. I like where I'm at. And that's where I stand right now. So we will see what I decide to do with this. Now from a DeFi portfolio, we can go to, let's see here. I click on followers. I added myself as a friend. Hey, I thought, all right. So then I can take a look right here. And this is a prime example, right? Um, it says I have $94, which is not true. And if I hover over this, it says, okay, for wrap state Exodia, we're not going to take that into account. So be it, whatever. So taking a look at the history, what was I doing? I was rocking Protofy for a while. Then I came over to Beethoven X and I put it into Summit, which was pretty nice. I think I got a little bit out of it. And now I am, I thought I was in Exodia. So I'm surprised that it doesn't show up right here. Eh, do be like that sometimes. Let's refresh. Not sure. Okay. So if I go over to Beats, I'm going to explain why I'm in Beats with my DeFi portfolio and my strategy moving forward. So with $100, I was not getting up the value that I needed. Now, if it's a bigger amount, okay, cool. But when it's smaller, the auto compound, it takes time, right? So I'm looking at this and my strategy is go for the highest APR. Now that is, you could say that's a DGEN, true. But again, it's a, you know, Beethoven X is a decentralized exchange and you provide liquidity. So I'm like, all right, that's good. And you know, you got like pool value of 3 million. I'm like, there you go. So uh, I'm gonna move out of the way. So right here, ah, I should actually just move my face. Hold up, wait a minute. I'll go up here just for the time being. It doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, I got like, there's 446% APR on the monolith. 
Uh, if I were to go into ring, that would be 415%, so you get the idea. So the idea is, hopefully, you know, the monolith can keep a steady price level, hopefully, and if and then as a result, I can get high APR, so about a dollar a day. That's what I'm hoping for. Knock on wood, seems to be going all right. So as you can tell right here, eh, price is going steady, but as a result, I'm getting my beat rewards and beats is doing fairly well, knock on wood. So that is my strategy with the DeFi side. Now, let's take a look at extra projects, things that caught my attention that I'm looking at. So number one, well, before I get started about talk about the different projects, nothing is a paid sponsorship, no promotions, no bonuses, no anything. This is just literally things that caught my attention and I'm talking about it. Please do your own research. Uh, you know, I could be wrong. I could be missing out on a lot of stuff. I don't know about the teams and the projects behind it. So please double check, okay? Just information that I'm providing out there. Cool. So first one is Byte Masons is coming out with a token. So I got to thank the guys in the, in my Discord that I have. They brought my you know attention to it. I kind of knew about it, but they're like, no, 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 Professor. You may want to do a little bit of a deeper dive. So I was like, all right, all right. Now, Byte Masons, probably not familiar with it. It's on the Phantom ecosystem side. But you may have heard the project called Reaper Farm out there on Phantom. Auto Compounder. Uh, if you've been around the Phantom side, you know about Beebus. He is probably a developer, more the leader or the face of, you know, Byte Mason. So he does Reaper Farm. Uh, he also does daily, not daily videos, but he does videos very often with Phantom Community Alerts. So, you know, you can see his face right here. So if you know him, you know him. Cool. And they're going to be coming out with a token. And they it's going to be called Oath. And I think it's coming out like extremely soon. I'm talking maybe less than 24 hours. So uh, <laughs> alpha here, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, you can take a look and they, what they're doing, they have very unique kind of discounts, how to get the tokens for what price vested. And if you also have NFTs on the Phantom ecosystem side, they give discounts as well because I get the impression that they don't want to do venture capitalists. They want it to be very community-based, grow it organically, et cetera, which I think is really cool, right? You don't want pump and dumps and, and VCs. So this is more, hey, if you really believe in Phantom, believe in the NFTs, they're trying to kind of give back. So they have a whole spreadsheet as to all the different calculations as to you know the discount that you can get, uh, how, how long you have to vest it, meaning like lock up the NFT, et cetera. And so very interesting thing i'm not going to go into more details just going to let you take a look at that they have a lot of developers apparently that they're like 28 developers they're going to be doing more things uh, not just only reaper farm but different projects as well so take a look and let's see here mm -mm -mm. okay the next project i want to talk about is retreat also, you know, the ticker symbol is T-R-E-E-V. A lot of people were talking about this on the Phantom ecosystem side. It has high sentiment. And I looked at the price chart. I'm like, okay, just not financial advice, just for the short term. I'm like, okay, this looks like an uptrend. And I'm in it, at least for the short term, uh, from the utility side, it's pretty, they're, they're looking to go pretty big. And it's something unique. The simplest way how I can put it is they're looking to replace MasterCard, Visa, and how you use a credit card to pay for stuff. So if you, let's say, go to the store, give your credit card, boom. What you don't know is that they're actually, the credit card companies and other companies involved, they're actually collecting a fee off of that. So they're like, oh, hey, you have this transaction to make it happen without cash. We're collecting a fee, haha. -ha. And that can be up to 5% which you don't know, but then let's say you have a credit card and you get some rewards. You're like, oh, I'm getting 1% reward back, cash back. Well, guess what? They're charging 5% to that store that you just went to. Ooh. So what Retrieve is trying to do is lower that 5% fee down to like 1.5% or lower and by using crypto in the background. So is it very ambitious? Yes, but at least I like the utility. You know, at least that they have going for uh, community sentiment. Again, a lot of people were mentioning like, hey, professor, you gotta take a look at this guy. You know, I like this, like this. So at least I like the utility and from the short term on the charts, I'm like, mm, okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this on beats. So typically when it comes to tokens, I'm like, eh, I want yield, right? 
but I also really like Beethoven. So what they're doing together is really interesting. So Beethoven X, I already discussed it, decentralized exchange. All you have to really know is that they're unique because as opposed to you want to swap between tokens and you have to give two tokens, the, you know, like say Phantom and USDC and you want to swap between it. Well, they allow for multiple tokens in it. However, uh, another cool thing is like, okay, maybe you still have two tokens in the LP pool, but they're allowing a bigger allocation for the token that you like, which is a complicated way of saying, let's say I'm bullish on Treep. Well, guess what? Because I'm now 80% weighted towards that. If Treep goes up, I get to ride that along more. Likewise, there is a lot of risk because then if it goes down, I'm also incurring more of that loss as opposed to like 50-50. So there's like impermanent loss, etc. But this essentially means that I have the ability, so going 50-50 is 80%. So if I'm bullish, that's going to go up. I get uh, more of the, the gains with it. In addition, I get 100% APR in beats. So I'm really liking beats for multiple different reasons, but the combination of the two, I think like, ooh, that is something to check out. Uh, so you heard it here. Okay, but again, do your own research, not financial advice. So another project that came up, well, let me just say this. I posted up a tweet saying, Phantom, I really like it, but need some sort of project that really just like boosts that up. Something like major, something that people just get all buzzed about. Like, yes, that's it, that's it, you know. So with Harmony, you had Jewel, DeFi Kingdoms. Avalanche has some of, cre, cre, oh, I'm gonna pronounce that wrong, Crodaba, you know, the crab game. So I'm like, okay, what's going on with Phantom? We need something like that. And a lot of people actually mention uh, Tank Wars Zone. So I did take a look at it. I kind of like that they have a alpha version of it already. They just came out with their NFTs to sell it. So the Genesis one, you can take a look right here. So you need 1500 W bond costs $160 at this time. So you can take a look at the chart. So while things were tanking, ha, tanking, uh, this was actually going up. Now, this is probably when Bitcoin was going down, Bitcoin going up, boom. And a lot of people are bullish about, you know, what they're doing, etc. They're thinking that it could be similar to like a DeFi Kingdoms or a Cordaba, but on phantom size. So you can, there's an NFT, Right now for the tank, the Genesis tank that you can get, there's 10,000, which is a lot, especially you know if you're thinking about like $160 as well, but it's down to now 3,160. So, you know, you, it could definitely be something there. So I think you can even play the alpha right here. Where can it, the alpha version of this? Maybe if I just click on Tank Wars, can take a look at the tokenomics, etc. They got like a little, uh, YouTube videos, so you probably can play against other people or the environment. Maybe it's got more of a Candy Crush type of deal. So, you know, something to keep in mind. Also, since we're talking about NFTs and Byte Masons, they have it so that, you know, you can get certain NFTs, can get like discounted, etc. Well, I'm thinking, huh, a lot of NFTs, exchanges, where's the go-to place on Phantom? paintbrush, right? So I'm taking a look at the price and I'm not necessarily liking what I see when it comes to the charts, not financial advice. See, it's more of a downtrend in my opinion. So I'm like, eh, I do like that the APR is really high, 165%, which is like, whoa, okay. And then in addition, it is locked. Half of it, half of your rewards get locked for three months. So I kind of get that DeFi kingdom type of feel to it. So something that is on my radar, you know, something to keep in mind. And then finally, I wanna talk about is an at the Phantom GameFi, uh, The Lost Kingdom. So it's been slowly gaining up speed, organic. They, the developers, I think it's a group of four, they're just building it, going with the flow. Now, normally it's like, all right, cool, project wants to do something, but Justin Bebus is, really backing the guys here. So that says something, you know, I was talking about Bite Masons and how Justin Bebas has a high reputation. Well, he is, he seems to be backing these guys and you can even tell, you can look at the Twitter page, he's following them. So uh, in terms of what what these guys are actually trying to do with the game, you may wanna take a look, but I know that on PaintSwap, they already came out with a little bit 
let's take a look right here. You can see they're whatever place, ninth place right here. And yeah, the floor is ridiculous. 6.5 Phantom, which is probably the equivalent of $13,000 at the time of recording. Granted, it's not a lot of NFTs in the collection right now. Maybe it's just to get a better uh, reward or discount when it comes to getting the Byte Masons token. That could play a factor as well. Let's see here, you're getting about 60%. So this further backs up the claim that Justin Bebus likes probably the Lost Kingdom. So take a look at their Discord. Again, I don't have necessarily too much information about it. Music's kind of cool when you come on here. Uh, let's see here in the art. So something to keep in mind. Oh, minting soon. Apparently they got some allies as well. So yeah, Reaper Farm, FTM, Echologist. Oh man, I butchered the pronunciation my bad so anyways that's pretty much everything that i have this last portion of the video in case you're wondering curious what the professor's been up to i've been making the best investment which is in myself so i've been reading books just man talking about different trading stuff how the markets work how to um, change my mindset to do like the compound effect on how to do better habits and how that can improve my life and how I can apply this also to crypto. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a lot of things that I can level up and then all I have to do is just maintain. And then eventually what I'm looking to do with the YouTube channel then is once I get to that level of, you know, I upgraded and now I'm just maintaining, I could probably do YouTube where let's say I do a live stream for 30 minutes every day and I don't have to necessarily worry about time and editing. It's just, there you go and go on with the flow, right? And whatever we wanna talk about. So before I do that, I have to edit already some collab videos that I did because that's been on my queue for a long time. So after this video, I'll probably do that. And then likewise, I need to figure out the settings and the programs in order to make that happen. Then on the weekend, I could probably do collab videos. I could bring in different people from the DeFi side. I can talk to different you know, people that are working on projects, get them into AMAs, et cetera, and discuss. So I'm very excited about that. Again, just upgrading the small steps. So in case you're wondering, dude, professor, where you at? What you been doing? It's like, well, everything takes time, but I'm enjoying the ride, definitely improving. Uh, keep in mind that in this video, not financial advice, probably said that 60 times, do your own research on the projects, not affiliated with them. I just find them interesting. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, dudes.